for items 13 to 21 predict the direction of the reaction that will be favored by the system below when the equilibrium is disturbed by the factors given to H2O forming 2H2 plus O2 plus heat. Write A forward, left to right, B if reverse, right to left, and C if no effect. Number 13, the amount of O2 is doubled. The stress here is increasing the concentration of one of our products to balance this one the equilibrium will shift to the left to make to use this extra amount of O2 so this favors the reverse reaction so here we'll write letter B that is from right to left number 14 catalysts are added catalysts they speed up reactions on this case catalysts they speed up both the forward and then the reverse reaction so overall it will have no effect on the equilibrium so number 14 the answer is letter C no effect number 15 the system is cooled so here we have the temperature is decreased so let's note that this one is an exothermic reaction because here heat is given off by the reaction so here we'll consider heat as one of our products here so here when we decrease the temperature so to balance this one the equilibrium will shift to the right to make more heat so this favors the forward reaction let's go to number 16 the pressure is lowered so the the stress here is decreasing pressure so to balance this one the the system or the equilibrium will try to make more pressure and here we can make more pressure or the pressure depends on the number of particles of the substances and again in chemistry we count particles in terms of moles so on the left side we have two moles and then on the right side we have two plus one so here we have three moles so obviously three moles can make more pressure so on this case again since our goal is to make more pressure then we go from the left to right because if we go to the right we'll have more number of moles and more number of moles means higher pressure so for number 16 the answer is a it favors the forward reaction let's go to number 17 the amount of h2o is increased so h2o is one of our reactant here and again we are increasing the amount of h2o here so to balance this one the system or the re or the equilibrium will shift to the right to use this extra amount of h2o so this favors the forward reaction for number 18 the amount of H2 is decreased. So H2 is one of our products here. Again, the stress is decreasing the amount of H2. So to balance this one, uh, the system will shift to the right to make more H2. So this favors the forward reaction. For number 19, the system is heated. So we are increasing the temperature of the system. That means we're, uh, we're increasing this heat here so to so to balance this one the equilibrium will shift to the left to use this extra heat so this favors the reverse reaction that is letter b for number 20 inhibitors are added inhibitors are like the opposite of catalyst so inhibitors they inhibit or they slow down reactions the same case with the with the catalyst in uh, inhibitors they inhibit or slow down both the forward and then the reverse reaction so overall it will have no effect on the equilibrium so for number 20 the answer is C for 21 the volume is increased so here the the stress is increasing the volume and when we increase the volume according to Boyle's law we are decreasing the pressure so to balance the decrease in pressure the system would like to make more pressure so and again here that's based on the number of moles on the left side we have two moles and then on the right side we have three moles so again our goal or the system will try to make more pressure and it can make more pressure if it goes from the left to the right so this favors the forward reaction